Hey guys, what's up? I am back with a brand new video and it's time to do a battery charging test between the iPhone 13 Pro Max versus the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra 5G and the S21 Ultra 5G has a 5000mAh battery size with a 25W fast charging support on the iPhone 13 Pro Max we have 4352mAh battery size with a 20W fast charging support on the back we have glass on both phones we have Core and Gorilla Glass Victus on the Samsung while on the iPhone we have dual ion glass we have quad cameras on the Samsung while on the iPhone we have triple cameras we have a USB type C port on the Samsung while on the iPhone we have a lightning port on the sides we have aluminium frame on the Samsung while on the iPhone again we have stainless steel so in this video I'm going to show you how much time is required to fully charge this phone from 0% to 100% and right now and the battery percentage on both DC devices it is at 0% no battery on both DC devices and you can see so now let's talk about the processor between these two devices. I have the Snapdragon variant. We have a Snapdragon 888 on the S21 Ultra 5G. While on the iPhone 13 Pro Max, we have Apple A15 Bionic processor. Also, and the important thing is that and the battery charging speed is depend on your environment temperature as well as your phone temperature. Right now, when the temperature in this room, it is about 16 degrees Celsius. So if you are charging this phone in high temperature, the result will be different. Now let's quickly show you the charger and the cable and here is a Samsung charger and the cable and, and this is a USB Type-C to USB Type-C cable with, and guys and this is a 25 watt super fast charging and you can see you can also see the logo as well. So here is the iPhone, iPhone is on the iPhone we have a 20 watt and guys and here is the official 20 watt adapter and you can see and the S21 Ultra is maximum support 25 watt while the iPhone 13 Pro Max is maximum support 20 watt so without any wasting time now let's quickly start the test and guys and here is a socket now let's insert the chargers also and the power source it is also on also now let's calculate the time on my samsung galaxy a52s 5g now let's go to the my clock now let's go to the stopwatch and you can see here is the stopwatch now let's insert the cable into the 25 watt super fast charger so here is the cable and you can see we have a USB type C with the iPhone we have a lightning and guys on the charger is ready so now let's insert these cables into the phone one by one and we have logo on the iPhone as well as on the Samsung we have a super fast charging the S21 Ultra with the iPhone we have a 20 watt fast charging we have 0% on both phones the stopwatch is already start so now I will be back after 10 minutes now let's see that how is the iPhone 13 Pro Max as well as the S21 Ultra 5G is performing in the first 15 minutes and now I will see you at 15 minutes after almost 2 minutes and the iPhone it is automatically on so now let's see the battery percentage on the iPhone 13 Pro Max and the battery percentage on the iPhone I cannot see the battery percentage or let's see the battery percentage on the Samsung we have 3% on the Samsung so now let's quickly put this phone app as well because iPhone it is automatically on for the iPhone we have 2% now let's wait for the S21 Ultra now the S21 Ultra it is also on as well we have 4% now I will be back after 15 minutes now let's see that how is the Samsung as well as the iPhone is performing in the first 15 minutes okay guys I'm back after 15 minutes of battery charging now let's see the battery percentage on the iPhone first on the iPhone we have 15% and you can see that's really interesting while on the Samsung we have 27% and you can see so the iPhone is performing really bad in terms of the battery charging wise as of now also and the battery optimization it is also enabled on the iPhone by default now I will be back after 30 minutes and now let's see that how is the iPhone is performing in the next 15 minutes we have 15% battery now I will see you at half hour okay guys I'm back after 30 minutes of battery charging now let's see the battery percentage on the iPhone 13 Pro Max on the iPhone 13 Pro Max we have 36% while on the Samsung we have 56% and you can see and the Samsung is performing much better as compared to the iPhone because we have 5000 mAh battery size while on the iPhone 13 Pro Max and the battery size it is much bigger as compared to the iPhone 12 Pro Max but the iPhone 13 Pro Max is still gave you a 20 watt that is why the iPhone 13 Pro Max is not performing really really fast because we have a bigger battery 
so now i will be back after 45 minutes of battery charging now let's see that how is the samsung as well as the iphone is performing in the next 15 minutes okay guys i'm back after 45 minutes of battery charging now let's see the battery percentage on the iphone 13 pro max on the iphone 13 pro max we have 57 percent while on the samsung we have 79 percent and you can see in the samsung is almost hit 80 percent while on the iphone again we have 58 percent so now i will be back after one hour exact 60 minutes now let's see that how the iphone as well as the samsung is performing in the next 15 minutes so far the iphone it is a little bit more faster as compared to before after the 30 minutes mark now i will see you at 60 minutes and guys i am back after 60 minutes of battery charging now let's see the battery percentage on the iphone 13 pro max on the iphone we have 75 percent battery while on the samsung we have 90 percent and you can see looks like the samsung is overall more faster in terms of the battery charging wise now i will be back when my samsung is hitting 100 percent fully charged okay guys i'm back and you can see my samsung galaxy s21 ultra is hit 100 percent fully charged in one hour and 10 minutes with the 25 watt super fast charger now let's see the battery percentage on the iphone the iphone it is at 82 percent and you can see so the iphone 13 pro max is performing really bad as compared to the iphone 12 pro max because we have a smaller battery on the iphone 12 pro max on the 13 pro max we have a, a bigger battery yes in terms of the battery life and the iphone 13 pro max is a much better phone as compared to any other flagships in this price range now let's wait for the iphone 13 pro max as well now i will be back when my iphone 13 pro max is also hit 100 percent okay guys i'm back and my iphone 13 pro max is also hit 100 percent fully charged in two hours and 90 minutes and the battery charging speed it is not as fast as the samsung galaxy s21 ultra because on the iphone 13 pro max we have an option in the battery section let me show you and you can see in the battery in the battery health we have a optimized battery charging it is on on the iphone 13 which is also available on the samsung which is disabled by default but it is on by default and guys if you disable this option and this phone will be charged in one hour and 50 minutes around so or have to say regarding the battery charging test of both these devices and the samsung galaxy s21 ultra it is is performing really fast in the battery charging speed this phone is hit about 58 percent in 30 minutes while the iphone it is at about 36 percent definitely s21 ultra with the 25 watt super fast charging it is it is a much faster as compared to the iphone which gave you a 20 watt so that's about it and thank you so much for watching this battery charging test between the iphone 13 pro max versus the samsung galaxy s21 ultra 5g let me know your thoughts in the comment section below subscribe to my channel for d tech videos and follow me on instagram and twitter as well and i will see you in my next video peace out